give all praise and honor to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rekakadash, for allowing me to come out and prophesy in the Heavenly Father's name. Uh, I believe today is uh, it's a Sunday, I believe it's uh, April the 26th, 2020. Your prophecy as the uh, elder apostle uh, uh, coined it. And uh, right now we're still in the, uh, the quarantine part of uh, of the world being quarantined. I don't know if uh, some other countries are back uh, so called having their, their way uh, as normal, as it being normal. But uh, here is pretty, still pretty, uh, 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 pretty dead down in, uh, in the south. Uh, as you can see, you, know, you have a few people here and there. Uh, a few people here and there that uh, still uh, walking around doing, you know, doing that normal, normal thing. But uh, let's get into some scriptures. Uh, uh, this is the book of Baruch, chapter 4, verse 1. It says, This is the book of commandments of the Most High and the law that endureth forever. All they that keep it shall come to life, but such as leave it shall die. And you're seeing uh, right now, uh, know what the uh, 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 uh the government set up uh all the different churches you know they we know that the churches are set up to keep our people asleep you know um and and you know uh, back when i was in the church you know i i kind of had a feeling to where you know the uh, uh you know there was just a money thing even my uh one of my sons was telling me you know he said dad i told you the same well you know it took a minute, you know, the Heavenly Father, I'm glad the Heavenly Father woke me up. And the Wadi Yahweh Bashimi Shah for waking me up to uh, uh, get into this truth. And to know that I'm an Israelite and I, uh, I pray to stay in it and endure to the end. But let's read that again. This is the book of Baruch, chapter 4, and verse 1. It says, this is the book of commandments of the Most High. So, this is the book of commandments of the Most High, meaning that... Most High command you to do these 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 uh, commandments, you know, to the best of your ability, as the Scripture uh, uh, tells you to. Uh, it says, uh, it says, the law that endure forever, all that keep it shall come to life, but such as leave it shall die. So if you come into this truth and you decide to leave this truth, then the Heavenly Father says you should die. You know, whether it be, you know, uh, uh, doing the, uh, the martial law of uh, race rides or whatever. But if you come into the truth, you know, and if you leave it, you're going to die somehow, way or other, or other fashion. The Heavenly Father sets it up. Verse 2, it says, Take thee, O Jacob, and hold of it. Walk in the presence of the light thereof, that thou mayest be illuminated. So, it's telling you that if you walk in the, uh, the light of the scripture, you'll be illuminated. You'll come to light. It's like you're pretty much uh, filter everything through the scripture. You know? Uh, which is how you want to live your life. You know? A lot of our people don't want to live their life as such. You know, they want to stay and continue stay in wickedness, man. But that's the why. That's why this earth is in this situation that it's in, man. Because the so-called blacks, Hispanic, and Native Americans, which are the Israelites in the Bible, you know, uh, two thirds of our people are asleep and don't understand why America is in this situation. Since America's in this situation, 
because the heavenly father is coming to judge America, man, for his wickedness, man. And, 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 and rightfully so. Which would be a definitely righteous thing, man, because like the scripture said, he that touches you, which are the Israelites, touches the apple of his eye. Which the Heavenly Father allowed us to know that if, if whoever touches you, touches him. You know? Meaning, you know, hey, you touch the Heavenly Father, hey, you already know, it. Hey, you can't touch him, man. It's, and, which he's telling you, man, he got your back in so many words. You know, uh, let's go into another precept that we can. This is the book of Daniel, chapter 7 and verse 9. It says, Behold, till the throne were cast down, and the ancient of days did sit, whose garment was white as snow, and herald of his head was pure like, like the pure wool. So the heavenly father is describing itself. You know? And when I went into that precept was to show that the heavenly father is the same as we are. He said, uh, let us, come let us, uh, make man of the image of us, you know? Meaning the heavenly father had uh, uh, had his son along with the angels to make uh, uh, the actual man, meaning you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native, Native Americans, uh, uh, said as, as the dust of the ground. Uh, so what color is the ground? The color of the dust of the ground is uh, uh, different shades of brown. You know, you have a light brown and a medium brown and a dark brown. The deeper you go. You know, so he that touches you touches the, uh, the uh, uh, heavenly father, man. Touching the apple of his eye. Meaning you touching what the heavenly father uh, uh, named as his own. The apple of his eye, his favor, his chosen. You know, uh, chapter 7 and verse 6 it says for thou art a holy people unto the Lord Yahweh thy power the Lord Yahweh thy power has chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all people that are upon the face of the earth and that, hey, that's what it is that's, that's, uh, I went to that precept to show you that the heavenly father has a chosen people and the chosen people of the heavenly father are you so called blacks, Hispanics and Native Americans which are the Israelites so when he says, he that touches you, touches the apple of his eye. So that's the reason why America has to go through this tribulation here, which is going to get worse, man. Right now, let's let you know you have really no freedom. Look at the churches now, the so-called Roman Catholic church, you know. They can't even go in there and worship. You know, where's your faith then if there's so much this coronavirus thing? And let you know when it's back in Job, let's get that. Job uh, 29, or Job 9 and 24, I believe it is. Uh, it tells you, man, it says, uh, yeah, here it is. It says, uh, Job 9 and 24, it says, the earth is given into the hands of the wicked. It's given. So the so called white man did not get this earth on his own. The Heavenly Father gave him, he said, it was given to the hands of the wicked. He that covered the faces of the judges thereof, if not, where and who is he? So it's letting you know, who is he? If not, who and where is he, man? You know, he, he covered the faces of the judges, man. The, the ultimate judge is who they call uh, Jesus. Let me do some work to Anne Will. You know? That's letting you know, man. Hey, Let he me do some work to Anne Will. He covered the faces, man. He covered, he, 
got you thinking that the so-called uh, son of man. Let me do some work to earn a meal. Is a white man. Let me do some work for you to earn a meal. You know, but that's a lot, man. You know, we all know that him and his father and his son is the so-called black man. But right now we are in our lowest stage, man. We are in our lowest state. Because we broke the statute, laws, and commandments as a, a Israelite. Let me do some work, man, for a few dollars, man, so I can get in your room tonight, man. You know? That's why we're at our lowest state. You know? Because we broke the statute, laws, and commandments, which are our forefathers, which we come back, you know, and, and, and a regeneration. And, and, and regeneration is a reincarnation, man, in the Bible. So the people that's here on this earth to this day are doing the same thing that they were doing back in the ancient time, you know? For some kind of way to get judged, you know, either right or wrong. This is real right here, baby. The red, baby. This is the red, man. Hey, you got to get in it, man. I'm telling you, man, you're going to get everything. You know? But see, hey, our people, man, they lack of faith, man. They lack of faith, man. And I pray to have the Father, he keeps me strong in this truth, man. You know, they always build my faith up, man. I pray for these days and times, Lord. That he keep my faith up and build it up. And, and, and I feel, pray that I, I get an increase, man. Daily. Hey, this is the book of Jeremiah, chapter um, 8 and verse 7. It said, ye, the stork." And the heaven knoweth her appointed time, and the turtle, and the crane, and the swallow observe the time they are coming. But my people know not the judgment of the Lord Yahweh. By Shimei shot, and and our people don't know this, man. They don't know that the time that's to come is the judgment time. You know, everyone's still asleep, man. Everyone is still asleep, man. You know, everyone is still asleep. Not knowing that you being a so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American, man, you got to, the Heavenly Father, man, is, is here to protect you, man. You know, the Heavenly Father is here to protect you. You know, but our people are so lost, man, we still worried about the wrong things, man. We still worried about these earthly things, man. You know, so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American, man, it's time to get it together, man. Because... Uh, Babylon won't go on too much further, man. You know, this is uh, this is Jeremiah chapter 10 and verse 9, 16. Jeremiah, 10, Jeremiah chapter 10, verse 16. It says, the portion of Jacob is not like them. And who is Jacob? Man, Jacob uh, uh, is our forefather. Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, who the uh, uh, covenant was given to. And he gave it, and he passed it down, you know, to, to our, uh, uh, to his his lineage, man, or, or his 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 uh, a generation of people, man, that came behind him, you know. Uh, it says this portion of Jacob is not like them. The portion of Jacob is not like the rest of the nation, man. You know, because if you look and think, man, do your research on uh, uh, so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans in the earth, man, we built and, and created everything on this earth. But the Heavenly Father allowed our people not to uh, uh, get uh, uh, paid for it, you know? And all these inventions that we come out of is our inventions, man. But that's the reason, man. We are uh, 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 in, 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 in the hell, man. We in hell. America is the, the, the land of our, our, our captivity, man. You know? It says, uh, it says the, the portion of Jacob it's not like them. Who is them? The other nations. It says, uh, for he is the former of all things, and Israel is the rod of, of his inheritance, and the Lord Yahweh of hosts is his name. And let you know, man, the Heavenly Father set it all up. You know? You're going through hell and high water right now. You know? You're going through hell right now. But it's time for you to wake up, man, because America won't be, won't never get back to where it was, you know, because the elites that run this world 
has an agenda, man. This agenda that the elites are running is to put America in, in, in major debt. And with everything that's going on in America, they're going to blame the reason why the uh, economy collapsed on uh, this virus. When the America's economy has always been dead. Has been dead for a long time. You know? It never did bounce back. You know, and it won't bounce back. You know, uh, Oh, that's beautiful there. Jeremiah 11 and 11. It says, Therefore, thus saith the Lord Yahweh, Behold, I will bring evil upon them, which they shall not be able to escape. And though they shall cry unto me, I will not hearken unto them. And that's what to the Israelites, man, the two thirds of the Israelites, man. This scripture is going, is, is to the two thirds that the Heavenly Father said is going to uh, perish on this side. That's beautiful. Let me read that again. Verse 11, Jeremiah 11 and 11. It said, Therefore thus said the Lord, Yahweh, behold, I will bring evil upon them, which they shall not be able to escape. And though they shall cry unto me, I will not hearken unto them. That's what it is, man. The Heavenly Father's not going to hear two-thirds of our people, man, because he know they're not sincere, man, with their cries, man. It's like he said, man, he stretched out his hand, and, and no man regarded it. No man regarded, man. So that's why the Heavenly Father sent us this comforter, man. For us to get together, man, and, 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 and get righteous, man, and repent. But he knew two-thirds of his people weren't going to repent, man. All right, here it is. This is the book of Acts, chapter 5 and verse uh, 30. It says, The Most High of our fathers raised up Yahweh Shai, whom ye slew and hanged on the tree. He had the most high exalted with his right hand to be a, a prince and a savior to give repentance unto Israel and forgiveness of sins. So the heavenly father has definitely gave, gave repentance, man, only for the Israelites. Only for the Israelites. You know, uh, but... That's why our people, our people, man, right now to this day, don't want to repent. You know? Because they're so deep into uh, America, uh, so deep into Babylon's truth, man. Let me finish the rest of this Jeremiah. 11 and 12, it says, Then shall the cities of Judah and the inhabitants of Jerusalem go and cry unto the gods unto whom they offer incense, but they shall not save them and all in the time of trouble. So, and this is a scripture that's telling you, man, that uh, no matter how much uh, uh, you have done, you know, the Heavenly Father has got tired of uh, uh, your, uh, uh, your sacrifices, man, you know. Where you uh, uh, how you sin, then you try to repent, man, or uh, uh, give a burnt offering. But the heavenly Father is done with those days and times, man. You know, and our people still are worshiping idols, man. You know, they worship, you know, all of these different idols, and, and thinking that uh, half of them don't even know that they worship the idols, man. And then when you tell them, you know, it's what it is. But it's just this. It's just the cross. You know, or oh, I'm just going to church, man. I'm just doing what I think I need to do. But the heart is deceptive, man, above all things. You know, it's, it's a deceiving thing. Uh, it says, uh, verse 12, it says, Then shall the cities of Judah and inhabitants, the inhabitants of Jerusalem go and cry unto the gods unto whom they offer incense, but they shall not save them at all in the time of their trouble. And that time of trouble is going to get worse, man. This time is just, it's just it's a build-up. You know, it's going to eventually get worse and worse, man, as time goes on. You know? But people won't understand that, man, until it actually happens, you know? I've been prophesying uh, through the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh I think this is my third year uh, prophesying. 
coming out on the street corner to 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 uh, uh to teach what I know. You know, as I only have a small percentage, but I, I'm 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 grateful for that percentage, and I often ask the heavenly Father for increase. You know. So it says, uh, verse thirteen it says, for according to the the number of thy cities, but thy thy gods, O Judah, and according to the number of the streets of Jerusalem, have set up altars to that shameful thing that even altars to burn incense unto Baal. Verse fourteen. Therefore, pray not thus for this people, neither lift up a cry or prayer for them, for I will not hear them in the time that they cry unto for unto me for their trouble. So that's that's stating that the Israelites that has a, a crying, you know, having this uh, woe is me, but not sincerely, but they're. Uh, 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 Worshiping other gods, the heavenly father said, Don't lift up a prayer for me. He said, Don't lift up a prayer for these people, man, because these people are not going to get it, man. You know, the heavenly father gave you chance after chance. After chance, he said, Don't even pray for them. You know, don't even pray for them. You know, uh, this is the book of Luke, chapter 9, uh, verse 62. And Yahweh said unto them, No man having put his hand to the plow and look back is fit for the kingdom of the Most High. So like, that wasn't the scripture I'm looking for, but jump down to uh, Luke 10 and 16. It said, He that heareth you, heareth me. And he that despiseth you, despiseth me. And he that despiseth me, despiseth him that sent me. And and I read that scripture like a, 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 a maybe a month or two ago uh, to some people that come out and you know they want to have a debate, but you know I wasn't here for a debate, you know, which they were Edomites, you know. I wasn't here for a debate, you know. I just tell you what the heavenly Father allowed me to tell you, and then we move on from that, you know. But uh. So, you know, people come out, you know, I see a lot of panhandlers, they come out and, you know, they'll ask some money or whatever and, and, and not understand what the Heavenly Father has for them. But even though, you know, this guy telling me, I want something to eat, blah, blah. Hey, look, this is the bread right here. This is the bread, you know? But, you know, he's still in a carnal state of mind, you know? Our people are still in a carnal state of mind, and neither do they want uh, they want uh, uh, tangible things, you know, instead of spiritual things, man. With the spirit on you, man, you can get anything, you know. And I've seen it guy a few times before, man, you know. I've seen it a few times before, you know. Uh, let's get this uh, next precept. This is a uh, book of Luke, chapter 12 and 31. Verse 29. It says, Seek not ye what ye shall eat or what ye shall drink, neither ye be of a doubtful mind. For all these things do the nation of the world seek altar, and your father knoweth that ye have need of these things. So these things, they have the father know you need. You have a need for it, you know? He knows you have a need for these things, you know? Verse 31, it says, But rather seek ye the kingdom of the Most High, and all these things shall be added unto you. See? And that's what I was going to, man, with that precept on that, that young man that, that's been out here, man. You know, he, you know, I, just, I ain't saying I'm a man of, of, I've seen a lot of things, but, you know, like I know everything, but I've seen some things and I, you know, I can pretty much look at who's almost sincere or not, you know. Being in the spirit, being spiritual, man, you know. Being the spiritual man, you know, I know if he's really out trying to get him some money to get something to eat, or he, if he's trying to get some money to, you know, drive some crack or something, you know. He kind of looked like he, you know, 
be spoilery on that crap, you know. Looking, just looking at them, man, you know, by the spirit. You know, uh, verse 32, it says, Fear not, little flock, for it is your father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. So, the, the heavenly father has a good pleasure of his men, man, to give you the kingdom. You know? Give you the kingdom. You know? Israel as a whole, but the first time that the first time around, it's just gonna be, you know, uh, 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 the uh, the elect. It's gonna be a remnant of Israel, man. That's gonna get chosen, you know. But the time to come, man, is it's gonna be a, a hard time. It's gonna be hard. But that's what the men of the Lord uh, uh, get out on their knees and pray for, man. To have uh, that strength, man, to uh, endure the times that to come. All right, this is uh, Luke. Let's stay in the book of Luke, uh, 13 and 24. It says, Strive to enter and, and at the straight gate. For many say unto you, will seek to enter in and shall not be able. So, and, and that's the ultimate, uh, 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 what you call a survival test, basically. You know? Many going to try to enter, but not be able to. You know? Like the scripture said, Lord, Lord. You know? But the Lord is going to say, He have not known it. Verse 25. It says, It says, when, when once the master of the house is risen up and has shut the door, and ye begin to stand without, and to knock at the door, saying, Lord, Lord, open unto us. And he shall answer and say unto you, I know you not whence ye are. And, and that's going to be, uh, uh, that's a prophecy, man. That's, that's, that's going to happen, man. Well, you're going to see a lot of people trying to get in this truth. You know, when you had ample enough time to get in this truth. You have a plenty, a ample enough, enough time for the Heavenly Father, you know, to do the work. Or get, into, get yourself right and repent. Man. The, Lord, the heavenly Father said, you know, he said he's going to know you not at that time. You know, he's going to know not. You know. That he that believeth on him is not uh, condemned, but he that believeth not is condemned already because he had not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of the Most High. Verse 19 And this is the con condemnation that the light has come into the world, and men love darkness rather than light because their deeds were evil. And that's, hey. Men love darkness rather than light because their deeds were evil. You know? You got to understand these things, man. You know? If you live your life righteous, man, what the Heavenly Father tells you, man. You know? You got to, you, if you live in your life the way the Heavenly Father prescribes for you to live, man, at least struggle and try to do these things, man. The Heavenly Father is going to gonna give you uh, righteous things man here even in Babylon you know let's read that again it said he that believeth on him is not condemned but he that believeth not in the uh, is not is not condemned already because he had not believed in the name of the holy begotten son the, the only begotten son of the most high and this is the condemnation that the light has come into the world and men love darkness rather than light. It says because their deeds were evil. They love darkness rather than light because their deeds were evil, man. Verse 20, it says, For everyone that does evil hated light. Neither cometh to the light, lest his deeds should be uh, reproved. See? That's letting you know, man. People loves they love darkness rather than light, man. 
the Israelites, man, two thirds love darkness rather than light. You know, that's why uh, uh, America's in the state. You know, America's in this state, man, because uh, uh, they love darkness, man. America love darkness. America would tell you that, uh, uh, you know, it's a certain way you're supposed to live your life when they say God we trust. When it's, it's, it's really a deception, man. It's a deception. It's like. that light is come into the world and men love darkness rather than light because their deeds were evil and this and you see that all day man people with evil deeds you know it says for everyone that does evil hated light so if you're doing evil you, you hate the light man it says neither coming to the light least his deeds should be reproved you know self-explanatory you know, at least you come out of your evilness, you know, and repent. That's the only way the Heavenly Father understands it, man, you know. You know, that's the only way the Heavenly Father understands it, you know. But like the scripture said, men love darkness, man, you know. <laughs> they rather do evil than a, a righteousness. You know, but this is the book of John, chapter 17 and verse 9. It says, I pray for them. I pray not for the world, but for them which thou hast given me. For thou are dying. So the heavenly father tell you pray not for them, he, he prays for them, not for the world. Verse 14. It says, I have given them my word, and the world had hated them, because they are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. You know? And, and that's what you see. You see, I see that uh, 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 day in, day out. That the uh, men that's trying to be righteous and keep the heavenly Father's statutes, laws, and commandments, they hate you, man, because you tell the truth. That's why they, 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 that that uh, uh, that saying, you know, the truth hurts. Which the truth hurts, man, you know, because if you've been living your life in wickedness, man, throughout uh, uh, you know your life, man, you know you want to continue to stay in wickedness for the most part. You know, some men come out of that that wickedness state, man. You know, because I come out of my wicked state, man, and 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 and, and, all, and it was through the heavenly Father. That's what the heavenly Father wants. You know, the, the heavenly Father allowed me. And I pray that I stay, stay in the life. All right, this is the book of John, chapter 14 and 26. It says, But the Comforter, which is the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, he will teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance, whosoever I have said unto you. So, hey, whatsoever I have said unto you. It's like, you know, so, and that's, and that's a beautiful thing. Man, if they have to find sin, I'm so comfortable. You know, uh... Yeah, uh... This is, uh, select 2 Corinthians chapter 10 and, uh... Uh, verse 11 and verse uh, 
13 that says, For such as are false apostles, deceitful workers, transforming themselves into apostles of, of Mashiach, or apostles of Christ. And no marvel, for Satan himself is transformed into an angel of light. Therefore, it is no greater thing in his ministry also be transformed also as the minister of righteousness who end shall be according to their works. And that's like a lot of the pastors, man. Majority of them. You know, if they hadn't come in to this truth, if they got a building nine times out of ten, you know, they have a 501c3 charter, which I'm not saying that's a, uh, 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 you know, but if you ask the government, man, the government set up churches to keep uh, uh, the people asleep, you know, telling you that you can, uh, you can, the laws are done away with, or uh, you can still eat pork, shrimp, crab, and lobster, and all that's a lot, man, because the Heavenly Father debunks all of that in the scriptures, man, and the book of Leviticus, man, which is Leviticus, which is the Levitical law, which is our dietary law, you know, that's why you see our people, man, that's, uh, uh, where Big Mama has, you know, in the hospital about to get a leg cut off from diabetes from eating uh, all these uh, uh, abominable things, man. All these things that the Heavenly Father tells you not to eat, man. You know? And I'm standing right across from uh, a little cafe over here and, you know, I, I'm pretty sure they sell plenty of pork, man, you know. Uh, they, you know, our people go over there which are the so-called Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, mainly you know, you see some Edomites in that too, but mainly our people, you know, uh, 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 Jacob, you know, they in that big time, you know, you know, and, 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 and I tell them all the time, man, not to eat shrimp, crab, pork, and lobster, man, that's uh, the, that's defiling your body, your temple, that's where the Heavenly Father dwells in, not in the building, man, that's built with hands, the Heavenly Father dwells within you, so if you defile in your temple, the Heavenly Father is not with you. You know? Let's get it. Uh, that's a uh, uh, book of Galatians. Uh, it says the epistle of Paul, the apostle to the Gentile, uh, to the uh, Galatians. That's the book, chapter 4, verse 16. It says, uh, am I therefore become your enemy because I tell you the truth? And so, and that goes to, you know, when I come out and tell through the Heavenly Father, you know, not me, but through what the Heavenly Father wants me to tell his people, man, that you can't defile your body, man, with these, uh, with these uh, 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 defiling foods, man. You know, pork. It's definitely a food that the Heavenly Father tells you not to eat, man. You so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Now, the other Gentiles, they can eat whatever they want, man, because the, 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 the covenant or the, uh, the laws and the statutes and commandments wasn't given to them, you know. The laws, statutes, and commandments wasn't given to them. You know, uh... Uh, this is a uh, verse that's uh, Galatians chapter 5 and uh, verse 16 it says this I say then walk in the spirit and ye shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh and law, uh, walking in the spirit mean, uh, meaning that if you have this tie this thing that's, uh, uh, that you have a, 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 a walk for meaning like defiling foods man you know you have an awoke to eat pork, shrimp, crab, lobster, smoke cigarettes, or whatever. That's fighting the the, 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 the spirit, man. That's fighting, yeah, the, the, the flesh fighting against the spirit. Let me read that again. It says, this I say then, walk in the spirit, and ye shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. So if you walk in the spirit, you won't uh, fulfill the lust of the flesh, man. Meaning these things that you know you're not supposed to do. You got to be spiritual, man. 
if you pray, man, to the Heavenly Father, you know, with faith and believing that he's going to allow these things to happen, man, you know, the most high will, man, uh, 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 will, will, will do these things for you. It says, it says, this I say, then walk in the spirit and ye shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. For the flesh lusts against the spirit. So the, 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 the flesh lusted against the spirit. Meaning, you know, you have a feeling that you want something, but you know you're not supposed to have these things. That's the, 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 the flesh lusting against the spirit because the spirit will tell you when, you, when, you, when something is wrong, man. You know? It says, for the flesh lusted against the spirit and the spirit against the flesh. And these are contrary the one to the other. So they cannot do the things that ye would. So that's the spirit, man. Uh, 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 uh. The flesh and the spirit. That's the war against the flesh, man. You know? Uh, and the scripture tell you everything is... Uh, Anything you want is through the Heavenly Father, man. He allowed you to have these things, man. It says, uh, let's see if we can get that. This is, uh, a, uh, this is the book of Ephesians, chapter 2 and 8. It says, For by grace are ye saved through faith, and that not of yourself. It is a gift of the Most High. So that's what it is, man. That's that's a gift of the Most High. So when people say, I gave my life to God or whatever, or I gave God a chance or whatever they say, this is, a, this is a gift of the Most High, man. This is not what you want. This is a gift of the Most High. No other, no, no other way. But through the Most High, He's allowing these things to happen. This is that gift that the Heavenly Father gives. You know, uh, let's read that again. This is uh, the epistle of Paul, the apostle to the Ephesians. This is the book of Ephesians, chapter 2 and 8. It says, For by grace are you saved through faith, and that not of yourself, it is a gift of the Most High. And you know, and that's the gift, and that's, it is a gift of the Most High, where the Most High uh, allows these things to uh, happen for you, man. You know, it, it, it has nothing to do with what we want. It's what the Heavenly Father wants. You know, and how I write the side that that He saved me, and and the brothers who taught this lesson. You know, like the Scripture said, we'll be scarcely saved. And I pray that the Heavenly Father gives us the strength in that time. When uh, Jacob's trouble amp, amp all the way up, man, you know, to uh, like no time has been before, you know. All right, let's uh. Uh, this is the book of uh, Philippians, chapter uh, 2 and verse 12. It says, Wherefore, my beloved, as ye have always obeyed, not as in my present only, but, but now much more in my absence, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. It says, For it is, it is the most high which worketh in both, and you both, to will and to do of this of his good pleasures. Do all things without murmuring and disputing that ye may be blameless and harmless, the son of the most high without rebuke, in the midst of a crooked and perverse nation, among whom ye shall uh, uh, ye shall ye shine as lights in the world. It says in the crooked and perverse nation, man. That's beautiful. Let me read that again. Verse 14, it says, Do all things without murmuring and disputing, that ye may be blameless and harmless, the Son of the Most High, without rebuke, 
in the midst of a crooked and perverse nation. So you know it's telling you that uh, this is a, a perverse, a crooked and perverse nation. You know, the America is the uh, this, the the prime uh, 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 candidate, or is the uh, uh, is the capital of a, a crooked and perverse nation, man. Because America uh, spills its uh, uh, it's, it's, it's a philosophy all over the world to uh, have everyone else doing the same thing America's doing. You know, like uh, being a homosexual. You know, they they put this out to you know. If you think about it, everything that America does is against the uh, the holy uh, scriptures, man. It's, it's, it's against what the heavenly Father wants, man. Or what the heavenly Father tells them to do, man. You know, but this 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 devil that the heavenly Father put up, which you know put in place, he allowed him to do this. You know, he allowed him to have his day and time. You know, to do his wickedness, man. You know, uh, but our people, it's hard. Like it's hard for them to see these. That this 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 devil has this uh this way. It says uh, this is the book of Psalms fifty eight and one. It says, Do ye indeed speak righteousness, O congregation? Do ye judge up judge uprightly, O, o ye sons of men? You know, it's, this is a question that the heavenly father is asking. Do you do these things? And you know the answer is is no. <laughs> the answer to this question is no. Read that again. Uh, in Psalms 58 1, it said, Do ye indeed speak uprightness, O congregation? Do ye judge uprightly, O ye sons of men? Ye in, ye in heart ye work wickedness. Ye wait, wait the violence of your hand in the earth. And that's what you're seeing, man. You're seeing, uh, the elites, man, waving their violence, the hand over the over, over the earth, man. You know, we're not seeing the, how Americans uh, 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 are in tour with uh, the, uh, uh, the nations, uh, what they call the so-called Middle East. You know, the nations where I, I believe they're in tour with Iraq now. But you're not; they're not publicizing this uh, uh, on, on TV here in America. You know, they in tour with all these nations, man. You know, they America has an issue with every nation, man. That's why you're gonna see the EU come up against her, man. You know, uh that's what we're gonna that's that's the time we're in now, man. You know, uh all right, this is the book of Revelation. It says this is verse 17 and 16. It says, and the ten horns which thou sawest upon the beast, these shall hate the whore, and shall make her desolate and naked, and shall eat her flesh and burn her with fire. And that's 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 that scripture is talking about the majority of the uh, NATO or the EU coming against America, man. They're gonna hate the whore. That set upon many waters, and that whore is America. That sets up uh, in many other countries. I believe they got uh, uh, six hundred and thirty. I believe some odd number of, uh, uh, of military forces in other nations, man. You know, in uh, America, don't in America don't have an, in, uh, another nation's force over here the way America has it. America is that whore, man. You know. I'll read that again. Revelation chapter 17 and 16. And the ten horns which saw it upon the saw it upon the beast. These had hate the horn. So in these uh, uh, horns, which is the powers that uh, uh that's uh, uh set upon the beast, which is the uh the horn so like it. Let me read that again. It says, and the ten horns which thou sawest upon the beast. These shall hate the whore, and shall make her desolate and naked, 
and shall eat her flesh and burn her with fire. And that's the ultimate goal of America, man. America's going to be burnt with fire. You know? That's why you see, you know, your pastors in these churches, man, they don't want to read in the book of Revelation, man. You know? They don't want to talk about what Revelation have, man, because it's the end game for America. You know? It's the end game for America, man. That's what uh, Revelation is all about, man. It's the end game of America, man. And we're near at that time than what you believe, man. You know? It says, uh, verse 17, it says, The Most High had put her, put in, in their hearts to fulfill his will. And that's what you're going to see, man. America is going to have to fight against the other nations, man. You know? America is going to uh, uh, be in that situation, man, that she can't get out of, man. You know? You know, all, and, and all, all throughout history, America has been the, 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 the big bad wolf, man, that has been bullying all the other nations, man. But this time to come is where the Heavenly Father is going to allow the nations, man, to do his will. You know, which all of it was all the will of the Heavenly Father. But this this time, America is not going to reign ruler or supreme ruler. Verse 17 says, For the Most High have put in their hearts to fulfill his will, and to agree and give her and give their kingdom unto the beast, and unto the word of the Most High shall be fulfilled. You know? If you can receive it. You know, uh, go back to the book of uh, Proverbs, no, the book of uh, Psalms, I'm sorry. Psalms chapter 2 and 1. It says, Why do the heathen rage and the people imagine vain things? Imagine a vain thing. The kings of the earth set themselves and the ruler take counsel together against the Lord Yahweh and against his anointing, saying, Let us break the bands asunder and cast away their cords from us. And that's the, uh, the, 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 uh, that's the demonization of of the uh, Israelites, man, which are you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. So that's what this this big thing comes down to, man. Where the Heavenly Father is gonna uh, uh, allow all of these uh, 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 wicked things uh, to come to uh, uh, to build up and cease America and the wickedness of the of the earth, man, and, and to establish, you know. His, his 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 rulership, man. You know? Verse 8, it says, Ask of me, and I shall give thee the heathen for thy inheritance, and the uttermost parts of the earth for thy possession. And that's the ultimate aid. And that's 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 one of the many blessings that the Heavenly Father. Is going to give the Israelites, man. The Israelites are you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, which is God's chosen people, man. There's no other nation, man, that's, uh, that, that the Heavenly Father is the apple of the Heavenly Father's eye. No other nation but you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. You know? It says, uh, this is book of Psalms, chapter 5 and 4. It says, For thou art a power that had pleasure and wickedness. So, so like it says, For thou art not a power that had pleasure and wickedness, neither shall evil dwell with thee. The foolish shall not stand in thy sight. Thou hast all, work of iniquity, all workers of iniquity. You know? Uh, which is, that's what the Heavenly Father wants, man. You know? Yeah. People should understand and know that the Heavenly Father has, has an agenda. Man. He has an agenda that's that's gonna play out on the earth. 
you know? No matter whatever the situation you thought was, the Heavenly Father, this is the Heavenly Father's movie. You know? You know, it, it's a good and it's an evil. You know? It's a righteousness and it's a wicked. In the Bible, this is, that's why it's called a, a, a script, man. These are scripts, man. Just like the Hollywood name there, their, their, uh, 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 their whole thing is out of the scriptures, man. Everything in Hollywood come out of the scriptures, man. From having superpowers, you know, and being an evil a, a antagonist and a protagonist, having an evil and a, and a good, man. You know, and that brings me to this uh, precept of uh, it's Ecclesiastes chapter seven and thirteen. It says, consider the work of the Most High, for who can make that straight, which I had made crooked, you know? So regardless on what you thinking, the Heavenly Father, this is his this is his, his movie role, you know? This is what the Heavenly Father wants, man. He has a, a wicked and a righteous, man, you know? Even though two-thirds of our uh, uh, people, which are you so-called Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, which are the uh, Hebrew Israelites in the Bible, you know, you, you have a, you do wickedness, but you're not known as the wicked. You know, the so-called white man is known as the wicked. And, 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 you know, the other heathens, you know, they do wickedness too, man. You know, they're going to be the only nation that's going to be saved, man. Well, I mean, it's like the only nation that's going to be saved are the Israelites. First start with the one third, and then, you know, the uh, the, the rest of the Israelites are going to come back to uh, to the generation that's coming from the one third that's saved on this side, you know. But the other nations, they do wickedness too, but they're going to be saved. But the uh, the uh, the Israelites. Are gonna rule over the other nations. Uh, but Esau Edom is gonna be uh, uh, cast out of the earth, man. You know, they're gonna be cast out of the earth. And you other nations that you know we've been seeing in the uh, social on social media, mainly you Moabites. We've been seeing you Moabites going in. You know, on, on Israel, on the Israelites, and uh, but they're they're gonna have to pay also. They're going into slavery right along with uh, Esau, but Esau is gonna be the only nation that's gonna be uh gonna be uh gonna be exalted off of the earth. You know, uh, that brings me to uh, the Book of Job, chapter twenty and verse. Uh, Verse 6, it says, uh, verse 7, it said, Ye shall perish forever, or he shall perish forever like his own dumb. They which have seen him shall say, Where is he? So, and that's the, uh, that's the, uh, uh, that's, that's Esau being uh, condemned, you know, off of the earth, man, through the heavenly father. But before he's, he's, uh, uh, give up the ghost. He has to uh, uh, go into slavery. He has to go into captivity for all of the things that he's done to the the, uh, uh, the Israelites, which are so-called Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Let's see if we can grab that. Uh, that he's known as the wicked man, you know. <clears throat> uh, let's get to. Uh, Let's see. Bear with me for a moment. Uh, okay, here we go. This is uh, the book of Obadiah, chapter 1 and... Uh, Let's start at verse 18. It says, And the house of Jacob shall be in fire, 
and the house of Joseph a flame, and the house of Esau for stubble. They shall kindle in them and devour them, and there shall not be any remaining of the house of Esau, for thus said the Lord Yahweh have spoken it. So, but Esau has to go into a, a thousand years of slavery, and then that's 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 that's, that's what uh, said. I guess it was, you know, and, and I read and it's in the uh, Zonovan, uh, uh Bible dictionary was telling you that Esau is the only neighbor that won't uh, uh, have mercy shown to him. You know. But we still out here on the streets and prophesying in the name of your home shit y'all shot. You know, we're still prophesying in the name of your home by shit y'all shot. You know, uh, but it's gonna be a time where the, the world is gonna be uh it's gonna be a famine of the world. You know, uh, you know, it won't be any more YouTube or or any other uh, platform that uh, that the word will be allowed to be uh, to flow freely. Let's read. Uh, let's read this. Uh, this is the book of Amos, chapter uh, chapter eight, verse eleven. It says, "Behold, the days come," said the Lord Yahweh, "that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, but." Of hearing the word of the Most High Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. So the Heavenly Father tells you it's going to be a time to where nothing, the, 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 the word of the Heavenly Father will uh, no longer be, uh, be able to be heard. So it's best to get it while you can, you know? It's best to get it while you can before the Heavenly Father puts the famine of the word, put, that, put the hit out. And there's no famine of the word anymore. Verse 12, it says, And they shall wander from sea to sea, and from the north even to the east. They shall run to and fro to seek the word of the Most High Yahweh Shemi Shai and shall not find it. You know? And that's what's to come. That's the, that's the ultimate. Hey, the Heavenly Father has a, a, a lot of gold. That's not the ultimate goal, but that's the goal that's that way the heavenly father is going to actually come make it come true man that's, hey you know but the ultimate goal is uh what well, is one of the ultimate goals it's Amos chapter 9 and verse 13 it says uh let's start at let's let's see let's start at 12 it says that they may possess the remnant of Edom. Now, let's go up one. Let's start at verse 8. Amos 9 and 8. It says, Behold, the eye of the Lord, Yahweh, are upon the sinful kingdom. And what's the sinful kingdom? America is the sinful kingdom. So the, the eye of the Most High is on the sinful kingdom, man. You know? All over the earth. Mainly, but this is the sinful kingdom. That's why you've been seeing... Uh, a lot of uh, 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 chariots who the, uh, the white man uh, the so called white man uh, Esau Edom has uh, uh, saying, and called it a U, call them UFOs uh, but they got a new name for it now but the old school name is an unidentified uh, flying object but they call it a phenomenon now which, which is, they are definitely that but they're not un, uh, unidentified they are identified by the servants of the Most High as the chariots of the Most High. You know? It says, uh, Behold, the eyes of the Lord Yahweh are upon the sinful kingdom, and I will destroy it off the face of the earth, saying, saving that I would not utterly destroy the house of Jacob, said the Lord Yahweh. And this is the sinful kingdom, America, because he's, he's going to actually destroy it off the, the face of the earth, man. He's going to make it desolate, man. It's, 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 uh, in the book of Revelations, it tells you, man, it's going to be a desolate place, man. It's going to be laid desolate. It's going to be a big uh, uh, desert. It's, America is going to be a desert, man. 
I remember I had this young Jake come up tell you, man, this is the, the land of the beautiful and all this, man. America's not going anywhere. Man, look, man, if I'm reading it to you in the scriptures, man, what it is, why would you believe that? But the Heavenly Father, man, has put them blockers on of uh, 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 two-thirds, man. You know? It says, uh, it says, Behold, the eyes of the Lord Yahweh are upon the sinful kingdom. And I will destroy it from off the face of the earth. And that's America. It says, saying that I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob. The house of Jacob, which are the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, which are the Israelites in the Bible. It says, I will not destroy the house of Jacob, said the Lord Yahweh. Verse 9, for lo, I will command and I will sift the house of Israel from among the nations. So the house of Israel is going to be sifted, you know, from up the four corners of the earth, you know. That's the Israelites that's looking like uh, other nations of people. That's looking like a, a so-called Moabite, you know. But there are other nations of people. It says, uh, it says, for lo, I will command and I will sift the house of Israel among the all the nations, like as corn is sifted in the seed. It says, yet shall not the least the grain fall upon the earth. All the sinners of my people shall die by the sword. And who is his people, man? The heavenly father people are you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, man. Because, you know, two-thirds of our people don't want to wake up to this truth, you know. You know, we pretty, we, we're at the end game of America, man. America is going to be destroyed off the face of the earth. Thus said the Holy Scriptures, man. And I'll read it again. This is uh, Amos chapter 9 and verse 8. It says, Behold, the eyes of the Lord Yahweh are upon the sinful kingdom. The sinful kingdom is America. It says, And I will destroy it off the face of the earth. You know, he will destroy it off the face of the earth. And it's a precept to that in the book of Revelation saying America is going to be laid desolate, man. So right now we're at the time that where all this uh, confusion where the Heavenly Father said it was going to be starting up in the earth before he his great and dreadful day, man. You know, you're going to have wars, rumors of wars, you know, a uh, 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 famine, uh, food, water, and famine ultimately, well not ultimately, that's my word I guess, uh, a famine of the word. It says, uh, and I would destroy it off the face of the earth, saving that I would not utterly destroy the house of Jacob, said the Lord Yahweh, for lo, I will command, and I will sift the house of Israel among all nations, like as corn is sifted in the seas. It said, yet shall not the least grain fall upon the earth. All the sinners of my people shall die by the sword. That's not all people. But you Israelites, man. You so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. It says, all the sinners of my people shall die by the sword. Meaning the gun, man. The modern day sword is the gun. All the sinners of my people shall die by the sword. Which say the evil shall not overtake or per uh, perverse us in the day and that day I will rise up the tabernacle of David, David that is fallen and close up the breaches thereof and I will rise up his ruins and I will build it as in the day of old. So if you know about King David, man, King David was a warrior. So the heavenly father said he's going to raise up his ruins, man. Going to raise up the, tabern the tabernacles of David. You know, verse 12, it says that they may possess the remnant of Edom, man. You know, the Heavenly Father telling you we're going to possess Edom, man. We're going to possess the so-called white man. The so-called white man is going to be a possession. You know? And I'm praying for mine. <laughs> and I can uh, mount that up with uh, the scripture I just ran into, which is the book of Psalms. Here it is, the book of Psalms, chapter 2. In verse 8, it says, Ask of me, and I shall give thee the heathen for thine inheritance. 
and the uttermost parts of the earth for thy possession. Booyah. I'm going to read it again. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 2 and 8. It says, Ask of me, and I shall give thee the heathen for thy inheritance. And the heathens are the other nations, man. This is the heathen. These are the heathens, man. 18 other nations of people, man. The heavenly Father said, Ask of me, and I shall give ye the heathen for thy inheritance. Okay. It's back in Amos chapter eight, chapter nine, and verse uh, verse twelve. It says that they may possess the remnant of Edom. You know who is Edom? Edom is the so-called white man. That is Edom, man. So Edom is going to be a slave. You know for a thousand years, man. Thus said the scriptures, man. Thus said Yahweh sent Yahweh God. You know Edom is going to be a slave, man. He's going to be a slave, man. It says uh, that they may possess the remnant of Edom and all the heathens which are called by my name shall the Lord Yahweh that doeth, doeth this. Let me read that again. Verse 12. Verse 11. It says, In that day I will rise up the tabernacles of David that is fallen and close up the breaches thereof and I will raise up his ruins. And I will build it as the days of old, that they may possess the remnant of Edom. And all the heathen, which are called by my name, said the Lord Yahweh, that does this. Behold, the days come, said the Lord Yahweh, that the plowman shall overtake the reaper. And that, hey, that's another uh, 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 precept to uh, Psalms uh, uh Back, well, Psalms precept with Amos and uh, and verse twelve is going uh, uh, men, uh, uh, together with thirteen. It says, "Behold, the days come," said the Lord Yahweh, "that the plowman should overtake the reaper, and the and the treader, the treader of grapes, him that soweth seed, and the mountain." shall drop sweet wine and all the hills shall melt you know and and that's hey that's the Esau's government man is gonna melt in that day and time you know and and, and the heavenly father is gonna establish his his kingdom man in the time to come in this day verse 14 it says and I will bring again the captivity of my people Israel and they shall build the waste cities and inhabit them, and they shall plant vineyards and drink wine thereof. They shall also make gardens and eat the fruit of them. And that's the Heavenly Father giving us back the land that He promised to us. Uh, he promised to our uh, 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 our forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, which are the forefathers of the so called Black Hispanic Native Americans. You know? That's the covenant, man, that if the Father set with our forefathers, man. You know? Verse 15. It says, And I will plant them upon their land, and they shall no more be poured up out of their land which I which I have given, which I have given them, said the Lord Yahweh of thy, uh, of the, thy power read that again. Verse 15. It says, And I will plant them upon their land, and they shall no more be poured up out of their land which I have given them, said the Lord Yahweh, thy power. Said, see, it said again, because the heavenly Father poured us, allowed uh, 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 the Romans to come against us in 70 AD. And, uh, and it made us get up out of that land of Jerusalem, man. That's how we got to uh, uh, Africa, man. You know, that's how we got to the west coast of Africa, the western part of Africa, which uh, uh, came into where the Heavenly Father uh, 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 allowed uh, uh, the, the heathens to come against us, man. That's why the Heavenly Father says right here, he says, 
He said, and I will plant them upon their land, and they shall no more be poured up out of their land, which I have given them, said the Lord Yahweh, thy power. See? The Heavenly Father is not going to allow that to happen again. You know? And you know, uh, back in Deuteronomy 28 32, it says, uh, 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 we will be in Egypt again by, uh, by ways of ships. And that's the transatlantic slave uh, trade. You know? Which was uh, orchestrated by the uh, so-called Jewish or Amalek. You know? You know, you know the uh, uh, so-called white man is, 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 is the man is a culture vulture, man. You know, he stole out a heritage, and he's still stealing to this day, man. To the very end, to the very end, man. Like uh, what was the guy said, to this day. You know, this is Book of Revelation sixteen and uh, nine, and the men were scorched with great heat, with great heat and blasphemed the name of the Most High, which had power over these plagues, and they repent not to give him glory, man. Hey, man, Esau, hey, that's why Esau has to be destroyed, man. You know? Esau has to be destroyed. Let's go, uh, uh, let's get ready to end it off, man. You know, uh, this is my one of my ending books that I love. You know, uh, this this uh, uh, this is the downfall of, of, of Esau Edom right here. This is the book of Job 20 and uh, started verse 3. It says, I have heard the check of my reproach, and my spirit of my understanding causes me to answer. Knowing this not of old, since man was placed upon earth, that the triumphing of the wicked is short, and the joy of the hypocrite but for a moment. You know, just for a moment, man. You know? Hey, let's get uh, let's go to Proverbs. Uh, I mean, Book of Psalms, ninety-four and uh, three, I believe it's, it is. Uh, ninety-four and three. It says, "The Lord." It says, "The Lord Yahweh, how long shall the wicked, how long shall the wicked triumph?" It? And it's telling you back here in Job that is the triumphant of the wicked is short, man. <laughs> you know. Let's get back to the Job, man. And the joy of the hypocrite but for a moment. And who's the hypocrite? He saw either, man. He's the hypocrite, man. Which is, uh, I believe it's, the word hypocrite is, I believe it's actor. Uh, uh, let me see if I can pull that up uh, on the blue letter. All right, uh, that's uh, the book of Job, 20 and uh, 3, I believe it is. Uh, 6. It said, hypocrite. Uh, I don't believe I'm gonna get it. I guess it's wireless service is kind of acting up, but anyway, I believe that word hypocrite means actor, man. I believe, you know, don't quote me on it. But, you know, hypocrite means actor, I believe. But if you see the so called white man, you know, he's the biggest actor, man. You know, that's why you see him in the. Uh, uh, Doing the award ceremonies, you know, for the best actor, man. It's always Esau Edom, man. You know, because he's a major liar, man. He's a liar, man. Hey, <laughs> let's get that, man. Uh, that's in the book of Psalms, I believe it is, man. It tells you, man, how big of a liar this guy is, man. Or this beast is. It says, uh, this is Psalms 58 and 2. Verse 3, it says, The wicked are estranged from the womb. They go astray as soon as they be born, speaking lies. Just letting you know, man, this is Esau Edom, man. He is the wicked. They say he go astray as soon as he be born, speaking lies. 
let's get back to uh, Job. Uh, verse, it's Job 20 and uh, verse, it says, let's start back at chapter, uh, verse 5. It said that the triumphant of the wicked is short and the joy of the hypocrite before he moment. So this man won't be ruling for much more longer, man. You know? Uh, verse 6. Though his excellency mount to the heavens and his head reaches unto the clouds, yet he shall perish forever like his own dung. His own, he shall perish forever like his own dung. You know? If you look up that word dung, it, it's cow. It, well, it's shit. I ain't saying cow, but I, what made me say cow was because I was looking at a video a couple weeks ago, and uh, uh, I guess I don't know what nationality these people were, but they built they 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 their huts out of cow dung, you know. And that's what the heavenly Father said: He will perish forever like his own dung. Like he's gonna be done away with, man. He's gonna, it's, it's, you know, once done, once you eat and uh, digest food and it passes through you, man, it's, hey, it's no part of you. Anymore. It's over and done. So he appears forever like his own dumb. Going down the toilet. It says, they which have seen him shall say, where is he? Verse 8, he shall fly away as a dream and shall not be found. Yea, he shall be chased away as a vision in the night of the night. The eye which also... The eye also which saw him shall see him no more. Neither shall his place any more behold him. His children shall seek to please the poor. And his hand shall restore their goods. So his hand shall restore their goods, meaning that all of the things that they took from us, or our forefathers back in, uh, you know, when they, uh, 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 you know, uh, uh, when the scriptures tell you when he went and took out uh, 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 defiled the, uh, the the ark I believe it was well, they stole a lot of our things I think it's back in the book of Maccabees it's telling you how they destroyed the temple it says uh, it's uh, verse 9 it says that I which saw him shall see him no more neither shall his place any more behold him his children shall seek to please the poor. His eye, his hands shall restore their goods. So Esau Edom is gonna give up the goods, man. He's gonna give back what he's 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 tucking, man. Which was never his to begin with, but the so-called white man is a, a, a thief, man, by nature. But he'll point the finger at you so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans and say that you're the thief. When he stole America, man. And everything he has his hands on, man. The so-called white man is a thief. Thus said the scriptures, man. Verse 11. His bones are full of the sin of his youth, which shall lie down with him in the dust. Though wickedness be sweet in his mouth, though he hide it under his tongue. And this is talking about you so-called white men and people. Woman, man, and child. How you are. It says, uh, though wickedness be sweet in his mouth, though he hide it under his tongue. Though he, he spare it and forsake it not, but keep it still within his mouth. Yet his meat and his bowels is turned. It is the gall of ass within him. He has swallowed down riches and shall vomit them up again. Most high shall cast them out of his belly. He shall suck the poison of ass. The viper's tongue shall slay him. He shall not see the rivers, the floods, the brooks of honey and butter. That which he labored for, he shall restore and shall not swallow it down according to his substance. Shall the restitution be, and he shall not rejoice therein because he had oppressed and forsaken the poor. And that's what he has done. He has forsaken the poor, man. You know? He has oppressed and forsaken the poor. That's the so-called white man. You know? Uh, it says, uh, verse 19, it says, Because he have oppressed 
and forsaken the poor because he had violently taken away a house which he built not. It says, surely he shall not feel the quietness in his belly. He shall not say of that which he desired. Verse 21, there shall none of his meat be left. Therefore shall no man look for his goods. In the fullness of his sufficiency, he shall be in straits. Every hand of the wicked shall come against him. You know, every hand of the wicked shall come against him. And that's that, uh, uh, that's that, uh, that's that, uh, 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 that race war. That's a race war against, uh, uh Esau Edom, man, and, and, and uh, and, uh, uh, the two thirds, man, the wicked. You know, two thirds are, are no, they're not the wicked, but they do wickedness, man. They are not following the heavenly father's laws. It says, uh, it says, uh, it says, in the fullness of his sufficiency, he shall be in straits. Straits is a, a difficult, uh, difficult, difficult uh, problem, uh, 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 you know. Backed into a corner, for lack of better words. Uh, it says, every hand of the wicked shall come upon him. It says, even he, it says, when he is about to fill his belly, the most high shall cast fury upon him, shall cast fury of his wrath upon him. Let's read that again. Job 20 and 23, it says, when he is about to fill his belly, the most high shall cast the fury of his wrath upon him. He shall raise, he shall rain upon him while he's eating. While he's trying to set up his new world order. You know? Let's read that again. It says, when he's about to fill his belly, the most high shall cast the cast the fury of his wrath upon him and shall rain it upon him while he's eating. You know? Verse 24, he shall flee from the iron weapon, and the bow of steel shall strike him through. Verse 25, it is, it is drawn and coming out of his body, yet the glittering sword coming out of his gauze terror upon him. All darkness shall be hid in his secret places. A fire not blown shall consume him. It shall go ill with him that is left in his tabernacle. The heavens shall reveal his iniquity. The heavenly father is going to reveal this man's iniquity, man. You know? You know, it says, uh, and the earth shall rise up against him. So the so-called white man is going to have the earth to rise up against him, man, in battle, man. You know, and, and even here in America, man, with the race war and all over the earth, man. You know, all over in uh, uh, Iraq, man. You know, all of these things that uh, they're not showing you on the news, man. This is gonna be his 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 downfall, man. This is what's gonna to happen to Esau Edom, man. This is his judgment. You know, thus said the Heavenly Father, man. You know? This is what the so-called white man has to uh, uh uh has to come to right here. This is his judgment in the Bible, man. You know? It says uh it says, the heavens shall reveal his iniquity, and the earth shall rise up against him. The increase of his house shall depart, and, the, and his goods shall flow away in the day of his wrath. This is the portion of the wicked man from the Most High, the heritage appointed unto him by the Most High. You know? And I want to give all praise and honor to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh by Shem, and Kadash, for allowing me to come out and prophesy in the Heavenly Father's name. Shalom, brother.